It's in a bubbling kettle, where animal or vegetable fat reacts with sodium hydroxide, a caustic substance, to create soap. They add water to keep it fluid. Now they spray hot liquid soap onto a big metal roll. It solidifies in a flash, and a big blade scrapes it off the roll, creating ribbons of soap. The soap ribbons fall all the way to the next floor, to big steel rollers called mills. They mix and compress the soap. A blade scrapes it off the rollers and cuts it into ribbons again, but these soap ribbons are denser. It pushes the soap through an extruder called a noodle plate that shapes it into soap noodles. At this point, they add color in powder and liquid form. They add some fragrant oils, and the blades toss it all together. Then it's forced through another noodle plate. This mixes up the batch a little more. Next, they push the soap through a forming plate, making a long bar. Blades mounted on a track slice it into shorter pieces called slugs. The soap slugs are on their way to the next stage. They're on a two-lane thoroughfare, heading into a die press. A mechanical arm pushes the slugs through an oval plate, trimming it and then loading it into the die. The die rotates to accept the slugs. Mechanical presses move into shape and stamp them. Mechanical arms suction the bars to remove them from the die. These mechanical pushers help they nudge the soap bars out of the die towards the suctioning arms. The oval soap bars now travel through a wrapping station. A blade crimps and heat seals the plastic wrap in one fell swoop. Then automated grippers grab the wrapped bars and load them into a machine, which slides them into little boxes.